Okay, name and rank, uh, Mike Reed. Uh, I'm a corporal with uh, West Coast Marine. Been a corporal now for two years. My name is Marcel Midlane, and I'm a constable. Uh, I've been on the unit now for four years. Dave Kokesh, uh, I'm a constable with the RCMP, and I have 27 years of service. How do we start a day? Basically, you know, wake up, uh, everybody's kind of got their role. Oh, another beautiful day on West Coast Marine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So this is a typical morning. Um, this is our living quarters. We've got two bunks, top and bottom. Engineer checks out the boat, makes sure that it's good to go. Crew-wise is checking in with local area detachments, see if there's a way that we can assist. Then make sure that we're gonna be good to go in terms of uh, if we have to travel anywhere. This is our shower. It's pretty small. We all have to live on board for seven days, so personal hygiene is pretty important. We'd get our coffee going. We'd probably have some breakfast in the morning. We support uh, detachments up and down the BC coast, our area of operation, if you will. The responsibility is between the Washington and Alaska state borders, as well as, again, anything else that can come up uh, on the water, whether it's stolen property, stolen vessels, uh, impaired operation, and we're a support service. So uh, we go into a lot of remote communities, First Nations villages, and provide uh, general duty policing, you know, to the residents of British Columbia up and down the coast. Uh, this is an indigenous community just across from Shimanus and Ladysmith areas. This is a uh, village of Penelicut on Penelicut Island. I love going there and interacting with the people and just patrolling areas that most people don't get to either go to, police, or even see in their lifetimes. We have, I, I feel, a really special relationship with the, the Indigenous communities. They have so much to share, and when it comes to those communities, we come in, we help them out. So we just, we drive around, we say hi to people. If there anybody out and about, we'll stop and have a conversation with them, and you get to kind of chat and build those relationships up with people. I like getting to meet the different people and being able to kind of swoop into a, a you know community, meet with members and basically say, hey, how can we help? I don't think people know how much we do and how many different things that we do. Where we really shone was during COVID when the communities were basically closed to the public. We were able to come in, tie up at the dock, stay in our boat and offer them the services that they needed. And you're in such a remote area and, and to get to police that is really cool. I love coming to work. We look at each other sometimes and we're like, hey, we get paid to be on the water every day. It's, it's really an awesome job. Not only are we a, a, a police detachment, but in the evenings, down below is our home. And we get to hang out with four other great people and have some great laughs. And we can be in beautiful spots, whether we anchor in a bay or tied up at some of these communities. It's, it's something new every day. The places we go, the things we get to see together, so many thousands of kilometers of incredible places. We get to experience that every day and it's, Pretty incredible. There's some things that we get involved in and respond to that are you know way over the top. We have uh, some unbelievable highs that we experience together and there's some unbelievable lows and it really cements our relationship with each other. 